everybody it's 10 48 in the morning here in brisbane on a tuesday the 13th of june and i'm looking for a couple of sparring matches with the pound now there are big economic news coming out of the uk today so that will be climate count change and also later in the day from the us we're going to get cpi so they do have tendency of moving the market so let's have a look i've got a couple of the pairs that i'm interested in for long the pang and a couple for a short so kind of like hedging around depending of the movement in the market what I like here on a pound versus the yen is we are in an uptrend. This is the daily chart and we push to a higher high and we're pulling back into the averages and also this previous level of support and resistance. One thing to note is we do have divergence here, so we might see a deeper pullback. So what I'm looking for here is drilling down into lower time frame and looking for signs of a reversal could potentially reverse around this area and try to attack higher but i'm not looking for a big move here i'm looking for a push toward this area so in and around the 175 so a quick move a quick spar over here if we'll take a look at the higher time frame the weekly and the monthly we can see that they're quite overextended now i marked another level here and that is around the 172.60 and i'm also interested in higher time from pullback into that area so let's quick look at the monthly and we can see monthly is in an uptrend very overextended it will be quite nice to get a pullback and release some of this strong buying pressure so to summarize on pound versus the yen either a quick move toward this blue line of mine if i get a nice reversal at this area i'm watching it it could happen in the next couple of hours otherwise potential pullback into the green line and then look for potential reversal setup along so short term and long term approach to pound yen here now with the next one is pound versus the us and again as i mentioned cpi due later at night we do have this uptrend here on the daily chart we broke this resistance level around the 125.40 the level that i was eyeing after this break was this spike over here at around 125 it's beautiful spike that rejected to the lower side and then clear through it broke to support and resistance level so i was working for a pullback into that area but if i'll show you the one hour you can see that i basically missed that pullback because well it happened in the middle of my night but potentially i might get a reversal here as well so i'm watching this one for potential long opportunities um areas for point swing will be around here and then the next one around this level around the 125.66 but if we'll take a look at the higher time frame we can see that we can potentially have a way to go so knockout area could go all the way up around the 126.50 so just shy of this previous resistance level so i like pound versus the us long i just need a setup over there the next one in case the pound is going to crash lower there are two of them there's the pound versus the Canadian and this is here on the weekly chart and we can see we are in an uptrend but we having an argument around this level we broke below we pull back and let's take a look at the daily we're looking rather bearish on the daily that doesn't mean that it's gonna turn into a massive bearish market but we could see a move toward this lower level so we can see rejection rejection we broke below came back fast touched it again couldn't push higher touched it again and now we're consolidating on top of it so i want to see compressions of price on a lower time frame and then i'll be looking for a potential break or a break and a retest now if we'll take a look at what happened around this area you can see that this was the breakout level that pushed to a higher high so i'll be careful from that area potential you can see that on the four hours so potential knockout around this area a little bit above it that's the 166.50 to 60 area so that's pound versus the canadian the next one is 
pound versus the kiwi now the kiwi has been sold off quite heavily so it looks like we are just uh, balancing things out and as we can see this is the level i love this level this is i like this one more than the pound versus the canadian for a short simply because there a bit more room to move here before we kind of come into first line of uh, defense here so i like this area and also you can see 2.04 round number there's a lot of nice thing going on around here so from this area where the sellers push to a low low we consolidated underneath pushed to a higher high came back a higher low but couldn't go higher so now we've got lower high here and currently equal low so again looking for compressions of price on the lower time frame and now if we'll take a look here on the weekly chart we can see that yes the weekly is in an uptrend but we're still overextended looking at the monthly we can see that big move that we have we've had over here so we could do with a little bit of a pullback really some of this very strong buying pressure so areas for knockout will be above this swing high so around the 2.018 area so i'm excited about this fight some of them are short and sharp and some of them might take a bit longer to materialize i'll have to spend a bit more time in the ring before i start my offense but remember when there's high volatility news the market might come back and punch us in the face so it's important to assess the fight plan around those economic news happy knockouts everyone bye for now <laughs>